Okay, guys, if you will get you, open your worksheet up from yesterday and then get your clean sheet of paper, you're going to finish that worksheet. Remember that I did put the answers on the bottom so you can check what you're doing. I'm going to do a few of them with you and then pause the video when you need to and uh, complete the problems as you go. So once again, if you have a log in the problem, this says log base 3 of v equals 0. You're trying to get the v by itself. So since you have a small 3 here, you're going to make a big base of a 3. And this, once again, is called exponenting each side because you're making each side an exponent. So I put these 3's in the problem. Everything else become an exponent. So if I have a big 3 and a little 3, those are going to cancel out over here and be left with 3 to the 0 power. Anything to the 0 power is going to go to 1. So your answer there would be V equals 1. All right, number 39 um, is the same as the last one. You have a log base 5 of X. So to get rid of a small base 5, you're going to make a big base 5. Make everything else your exponent. If I put a big base 5 on the left, I put a big base 5 on the right. And then the 4 becomes the exponent. So once again, this right here is part of the problem. Both pieces become the exponent. And the 5 is what I put in the problem. So if you have a big base 5 and a small base 5, those cancel out. X equals 5 to the 4th. You do not have to simplify that. 5 to the 4th is good enough. All right, you may want to pause the video and do a few and come back. Number 43 looks like log base 3 of 7x equals 3. So the first thing we need to get rid of, we need to get rid of the big or the small 3. I cannot get rid of the 7 until I get rid of the log base 3. So I'm going to make this number is going to become the big number, x but not each side. So again, this was one side and this was the other. You can see how those are placed. Okay, and then the big three and the little three cancel out. So I have 7x equals 3 to the third. And then to get x by itself, we divide by 7. So you're going to have 3 to the third over 7 is your answer. All right, number 45. You have to get in by itself. I cannot get rid of this plus 9 until I get rid of the log 9. So I'm going to make a big 9 because that's what the little 9 is. This becomes your exponent. Make a big 9 on the right side to keep it an equivalent equation. So this is going to cancel out over here and you have n plus 9 equals 9 to the negative 2. And then you're going to subtract 9 from both sides. Now here you're going to keep negative 9 to the second, or excuse me, 9 to the negative second. And then you're going to minus 9. Those do not combine. They are the same bases. I do not, um, you can combine those if you want to, but that is an okay answer. Alright, next problem, 49. Pause the video when you need to. Please go back and work. Go back and watch me work a problem if you need to. Ask a partner. Alright, so this V is what we need to get along. I cannot touch that 3 until I deal with the 7. I cannot deal with this 7 until I deal with this negative 6. So I'm going to get rid of the negative 6 first by addition. That's your inverse operation there. So you have log base 7 of 3v equals 1. Negative 5 plus 6 is 1. All right, now I have to get rid of the log base 7. So I'm going to make a big 7. And once again, that's called exponenting each side. So big 7s on both sides. The big 7 and the log 7 cancel out to be 3v equals 7 to the first. 7 to the first power is just going to be 7. I'm going to divide each side by 3. So V equals 7 thirds. 
All right, a few more. Number 53. We're trying to get B by itself. I have to get rid of this 9 and this negative 10. So I'm going to get rid of a negative 10 first by dividing by a negative 10. That would be log base 4 of b plus 9 equals 0. 0 divided by negative 10 is going to be 0. To get rid of the little 4, I'm going to make a big 4 as the base. Keep everything the same. I'm just going to make it an exponent. Then make 4 as the big base cell on the right raised to the 0 power. This side will cancel and I'm left with b plus 9 equals 4 to the 0, which 4 to the 0 is going to be 1. And then subtracting 9 would give you negative 8 as your answer. Okay, two more. On 59. Here we have to get rid of the negative 10, the 7, and the negative 3. I'm going to start away from those parentheses. I cannot touch anything in here until the 9 and the negative 3 are gone. So I'm going to go ahead and add 3 to both sides. So that's going to leave me with log base 9 of 7p minus 10 equals 0. Get rid of the little 9 by making it a big base. So big base 9, exponenting each side. So each side becomes the exponent. Okay, this is going to cancel out. 7p minus 10 equals 9 to the 0 is 1, not 0. Anything to the 0 power is 1. All right, then I'm going to add 10 to both sides and then divide by 7. There's your answer. All right, and the last one. Here I have to get rid of the negative 8, the 3, the negative 5, and the negative 6. So this is the most involved one that we've had so far. I'm going to have to get rid of this negative 5 first because it's addition and subtraction. So I'm going to add 5. When I add 5, I have negative 6 log base 2 of 3r minus 8 equals 0. Now I'll deal with the negative 6. It's being multiplied, so I'm going to divide by negative 6. It cancels out over here. So log base 2 of 3r minus 8 equals 0. 0 divided by negative 6 is 0. Now I'll get rid of the log base 2. Again, make a big base 2. Exponent each side. So the big 2 is on both sides. Everything else just drops down as the exponent. This crosses out on the left side to leave me 3r minus 8. 2 to the 0 power is 1. Now I'm going to add 8 and divide by 3. And 3 would be your answer. So for classwork today and homework tonight, go ahead and do that worksheet. Remember that the answers are at the bottom of the PDF, so check your answers as you go, please. Tomorrow you will have a new worksheet to complete that I will collect on Monday for a grade. So obviously I'm not going to take a grade on what you're doing these two days because I gave you the answers. So make sure you're working. Um, email me if you need help.